Hey everybody, it's Julie here, also known as Mrs England's Emporium. Welcome to my channel, or welcome back. Um, if you don't know, I'm a reseller and I basically sell anything I can get my hands on. I started off selling just ladies clothing and shoes, now I dabble in all sorts. So this channel is about everything we find and what my husband finds to put on his eBay as well. Um, so we have separate eBay shops, I usually do it so... I'm showing his stuff first, then my stuff, but I've only got a couple of things. So I'm going to do it all together on this one. So if you enjoy this type of video, please consider giving me a huge thumbs up. It really helps my channel out. Popping me a comment about anything you like. Um, if there's anything you would like me to do video wise, if there's anything you have any information on that I do, that I show on my videos. If there's anything, um, you know, that you'd like to pull me up on, feel free. <laughs> And also, um, you can hit the bell for regular notifications and subscribe if you haven't already. Again, it's free. It helps me out. And if you would like to contribute further to your support, my Buy Me A Coffee link is in the description. I'll give anyone a shout out who does that for me in any future videos. And also, the super thanks. I have actually got a shout out for my Buy Me A Coffee, so give me one second. So I want to give a huge shout out to Gemma West for supporting me yet again on Buy Me A Coffee by sending me a coffee. So thank you so much. I really appreciate it, darling, and thank you for being such a supportive and lovely subscriber. Mwah. Okay, so let's get into it. Let's see what we've got. I will have to add before I start that I have gone and done my back in. <laughs> I don't know how it's happened, but basically I just woke up one morning and the bottom of my back was killing. Now I do have problems with my back and my knees, but this is unreal. I'm actually sat here now with a heat pad on my back, which is probably due to run out because I put it on yesterday. Um, so yeah. I'm going to get you to write something interesting at the end of the video to show that you've watched it all about my back. But um, yeah, send me get well comments. I think I need them. I need lots of lots of good vibes and healthy vibes coming my way. I think I finally reached that age where I just move funny and something goes. There's um, a sketch that Michael McIntyre does about that and oh, it's so relatable. Look it up if you haven't already on here. Um, so the first thing I've got here, I've worked out these were two pounds each because Rob has actually gone out today and bought all this. He got me a couple of things and the rest is his. Um, I've got a bit of a backlog at the minute of things that I'm listing. I'm trying to stick to my five a day, not veg, unfortunately, but listings. <laughs> And um, I'm trying to make it last through the holidays. I think I might have mentioned this before. So I've got quite a big backlog, whereas Rob is just banging everything on when he gets it. And that's how he works. So it just shows, goes to show even with us two, even though we work together and we're married and we live together, we work very differently in the way we do our shops. So I said to Rob when he went out today, I said, don't worry about finding anything for me. I said, if you see something really good, of course, grab it. Don't leave it, but focus on your own stuff because he needs to build his shop up as well. I think I'm at, I'm at over 800 listings and he's at around 550, I believe. So we need to get him up to 600 to make it worth him having the shop that we've got, which is the middle shop. Anyway, I'll stop blabbling on because I've got a lot to show you and I'll probably end up doing it in two videos if I carry on. So the first thing I got here for £2, he got me these next boots that are boxed. They are actually my size, but unfortunately, I think because of the size of my uh, calves these days, I don't think they'll fit. But they're really nice, I like a brown leather. I'm not sure whether they are actually leather, but they're pointy to... They've got a heel that I can't walk on. But yeah, they're nice. They're marked up when they were new as £75. Um... 
think it's an easy 15 to 20. Um, maybe being a little underestimating there, but I'm thinking I just wanted to get rid of them and get some sales. They're a size, <coughs> excuse me, size six. They are really nice. Um, can't see anything wrong with them. They haven't got any scuffing or anything. So yeah, I need to see if they're leather. I don't know where it'll serve up. Um, yeah, I don't know. Does it say here? No, no, they're probably a fur leather. Um, but knee high boots. We're, co we're going to be coming up to the season soon, aren't we, where knee high boots start coming in. And every year they come back in fashion and these are boxed and have hardly been worn. So I'm going to give a very, very conservative estimate of £15 plus per stitch. Sorry, I'm just moving a pen. <laughs> Shouldn't have done that. <laughs> right, anyway, let's move on. So I need to move past the pen. Okay, so he got me this. This is hysterical. I mean, it needs washing. It's got marks all over it. Um, I don't know how much I'll get for this. But it's a fancy dress outfit. So try and guess what it is. <laughs> I bet you've got no idea. <laughs> so we've got this lovely cross that looks like it's been made at school by some kid um, that's been put on a chain. Um, bearing in mind, this was £2 as well. We have this... Dirty. Oh, look at this stained. I'm gonna have to wash this, it's disgusting. Um <laughs> like I can't even show you on me because it's dirty, but you know that's the bit you put around your neck at the top. Um and then yeah, there's another bit. Maybe not. Um this is a collared bit again, stained. Gross. And then the long like black dress. You know what that looks like. So it's a nun's Fancy dress outfit. Um, yeah, this is really heavy. Don't know how much I'm gonna get for that. Um, yeah. <laughs> he brought me that back, bless him, he was really excited about it. I don't know. I don't know how much that'll be worth. I think coming up to Halloween, it will probably go. Um, I'm gonna say 10 to 15. But it is quite a nice one, but obviously I've got to get the stains out of it. Right, okay, so that was £2. And then he got this and he was going to give this to me, but I've told him that he should have it because he thinks it's cool. And obviously he needs things to stock up his shop because he's listing everything like crazy, which is amazing. So a big shout out to my husband for all the hard listing he's doing. Like I say, I'm just, I do these videos and as you can appreciate, these are hard work in themselves. Um, so doing five listings on top of that, making sure the kids are okay and um, actually spending some time with Rob and doing the housework is quite challenging. <laughs> That's what I tell myself anyway. But yeah, he's got this. This is really cool. It's like, um, is it like a 50s, 60s diner type napkin dispenser? That's the word. So you put your napkins in here um, either side. This actually has the Coca-Cola um, like logo in on it as well there. And this is what it looks like from the front. That on the bottom, on the top, and then that again on the side. And underneath it says here that it was made in 2013, believe it or not, by the Coca-Cola company. It's really cool. So this was two pounds. Um, I don't know. I don't know how much he'll get for this. Um, we did look it up earlier and I think some were selling or have sold for around 15 to 20. Um, Rob will comment in the comments anyway if I've got that wrong. I'm sure that's what we saw. Uh, so yeah, my, my brain is clouded by pain at the moment. I'm not trying to get sympathy, but if you want to give me it in the comments, go ahead. <laughs> I know what I'll be getting, for goodness sake, Julie, man up. Right, okay, so we've got here, tax, taxonomy, taxonomy, ta yeah, there it is. I'm going to stop trying to say that now. Um, this is a medium men's jacket. It's really cool. It's got like jellyfish on it. When Rob showed me it, I thought it was space. <laughs> I thought it was out of space. 
but then I realised that it's jellyfish. Look at that. How cool is that? So I think, again, this was £2. I think he's going to try again 15 20 on that. Um, then he got this really nice Zara Man. Um, hang on. It's a Zara Man jacket. This is denim couture. There you go. That's their label. Um, let me have a look. Do, 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 do. It's 100% sheep leather and the lining is polyester. I don't know what size it is. Um, oh, hang on. Hang on. It's a Euro medium, USA medium, Mexican 38. Made in Pakistan. It's a lovely leather jacket. It's really nice soft leather as well. It's like a grey colour rather than a black. Um, hello. <laughs> yeah, it's really nice. Sorry, I've got to amuse myself somehow. I mean, I know that I chat to you afterwards on the comments, but at the minute I am just literally talking to myself. Even though I do pretend that I'm talking to you <laughs> to make it easier. But I'm just like, yeah, I've got to amuse myself somehow. But yeah, it's really nice, this. Um, it's got the front zip. It's got the zip pockets. I have no idea how much these go for. Again, I'm going to say 20, 25 probably a lot more um again i'll get rob to mention in the comments all i want you to put there when you watch this because he says he watches all my videos so let's test him let's test him if i'm wrong or even if i'm not wrong say zara man jacket spot on or what price you will be putting it on for and do that with all of them if you can Right, this is the world of famous expressions, the king of leather, made with the finest, what does that say? Liable skins from exclusive suppliers, leather expressions, the size large. There you go. This is a really heavy leather coat. I probably can't, you probably can't even hear me through it. <laughs> it's really heavy. It's black. Or is it brown? I can't even tell in this light. I think it's black. Um, size large. It does have a button missing at the bottom, but the button is in the pocket. It won't be much longer if I keep wrapping it about. But yeah, that's a nice one that. So I am gonna fix this because I have no idea how to fix leather. But I said to Rob, just put in the description that the button has come off but it's in the pocket, ready to be fixed back on. It will take, it's black, I can see it now. It'll take, oh, sorry. It'll take a little bit of value off it, but I'd rather him do that than me wreck it because my sewing skills are not that good. I do try, I have to try for what I do, but not very good at all. So yeah, that was two pound as well, as was this. Under Armour t-shirt size medium this is just a bit boring it's a white t-shirt um got the emblem on it but i think rob's gonna keep this he's bagging t-shirts where he can because i don't know if you've heard about his wife but she uh just saying she shrinks things uh yeah bit of a pain in the ass from what i hear <laughs> i am terrible my housewife skills are not good um but i wasn't taught so you know what can you do um yeah under armour t-shirt i'm just making sure that it has no stains under the armpits it's a good tip if you're picking up t-shirts check under the armpits for stains and holes because we have been stung a lot in the past by t-shirts that you don't really look under the armpits of and then when you get them home they've either got holes or stains and stained armpits on t-shirts when it's deodorant stained can be a right nightmare to get out in fact a lot of times you can't do it right so these were two pound each but they go together this is really nice i'm really excited to see how much he gets for this this again, I'm sure this is Zara Man. Yes, it is. Is it? Top, no, it's Top Man. It's a Top Man suit jacket and trousers. 
So this Topman jacket, it actually has a price saying £79 on it, look, but the original price was 120 It's a size, th size 36 regular, slim fitting. Um, it's really nice. It reminds me of something that Robbie Williams would wear. Um, Rob said Tyson Fury, but they are friends, so look at this. <laughs> Can you see that? Isn't that spectacular? It's got the buttoned cuffs. They're all there. Nice pockets. I do. Oh, hang on. Hang on. They're fur pockets. You might be able to cut them open, though. Sometimes you can, can't you? I don't think you can, though. I think they're fake. But look at the pattern on that. It's beautiful. £120, though. I mean... I didn't realise Top Man was that expensive. So yeah, um, he's got that. And then he's got the trousers to match. The trousers are, again, new with tags. Their price was 60. These are a 32 regular. Um, they've got RN numbers in. As if Top Man have RN numbers and I didn't know. I don't buy Top Man though. We just literally got these because they were £2 each and it's just so funky. Cotton and elastin, and polyester. What do you think to these? So nice. We're hoping to get about 100 for that because it's new with tags. It's perfect condition and it is so cool. It's just real. It's a really nice suit. Just look at that. I don't know whether it's, it looks like leaves, but I don't know. It could be floral, but look at it. Can you see that? What would you say that pattern is? What keywords would you put on that? I think that's so nice. So four quid for a suit like that. I mean, even if we weren't going to sell that, I think we'd buy it and Rob would just keep it till we had somewhere to go because it's so nice. Okay, so now I'm on to the tagged things. So this was mine. Um, it is, well, it was £4.50. There you go. Jessica Holbrook, size small, 100% leather jacket. There's the tag for you to have a look at. It's brown suede. It's quite heavy. Oh, I'm shaking the camera. It's really nice. It's soft, soft suede. Yeah, it does actually have pockets. My stuff has pockets. <laughs> I really like this. Um, I don't know how much it is worth, but I'm going to estimate 35. I thought I was going to knock you over there. That would have been funny. And you know I'd have left it in. Just for the laughs. I know you all like that. <laughs> right, and then he got a Yuga Boss jumper. Again, 450 extra large it's boss orange um it actually has it looks quite vintage this i don't know what it is but it says boss embroidered there let me have a look at the material 100 percent cotton yeah that's it that's as far as that goes but yeah it's just like a black jumper it reminds me of what um, boys I used to hang around with at school wore in the 90s. They used to wear things like this. So it could be a vintage one, but Rob will sort that out. It's nothing to do with me. <laughs> um, I'd say 30 on that. He'll let us know in the comments if it's wrong. 375 for this lovely medium hard rock cafe t-shirt it does pretty well with these he's had quite a few and they've all sold they usually go between 12 and 20 depending on what it is that he has this is a nice one it's got the guitars on the front and it's like a khaki green um yeah that should go pretty quick they usually do they're pretty good then we've got this 375 an extra large Hugo Boss jumper. Now this is as soft as you like. It is lovely. Yeah, that's really nice. I'm not about the itchy wool, I'm about the soft. 
the soft wool. This is a grey jumper. Again, looks quite old, but might not be. Um, I am not an expert in men's clothing. It's a v-neck. Let's have a look at the material. This feels like it's wool. It feels special, this one. Yeah, 100% cashmere. There you go. Absolutely gorgeous. Now, because it's got cashmere in it and it's in really good condition, it can probably command quite a high price for this. Um, I would say he will probably put this on for 40 to 45 As I always say, we have best offer on, so don't complain in the comments. <laughs> always best offer, we're not greedy. But when you get a nice fabric content, it helps. 225 for this, size medium, worn by, it says on it. This is interesting. Worn by label. Ah, now I know why he bought it. There he is, the Hendrix. Jimi Hendrix on a t-shirt. You know what? I'm so going to nick this. <laughs> I work, so he'll tell me off. Um, yeah, 15. 20 on that, 15, 20. It's a nice one. Then the last thing, guys, I believe. I've done that before, though, haven't I? I've said it's the last thing and I've seen something else. No, this is the last thing. 225 and it's another t-shirt, a medium. Um, this actually says on it, very important tea. Very important tea. This is a, I think it's a boxing t-shirt, isn't it? There you go. I don't know anything about boxing, really. I'm, I've never been a massive fan, apart from the Rocky films. Love those. Um, yeah, Mayweather and... I can't pronounce his name. Anyway, May the 2nd, 2015. MGN, MGM Grand Las Vegas. This looks like it's been bought at the venue, possibly. So there could be a little bit of value to that. I'm going to estimate 15 to 20 on it because it is a T-shirt, but it may end up being more. And again, I do not specialise in this area. <laughs> if you didn't get that, I said I, didn't, I don't specialise in this area. Sorry, I shouldn't be whispering. Anyway, if you've watched to the end, thank you so much. I want you to write in the comments, Julie, sort your back out. I won't be offended, but it'll get people thinking, won't it, that they haven't watched it all and they see the comments. That's the idea. <laughs> so thank you so much. And thank you to Gemma again for supporting me again. Much appreciated. If any of you feel like you want to support me and my poor back in this time of need, my buy me a coffee link is in the description and the super thanks are at the bottom of the page. <sighs> like, subscribe, hit the bell for regular notifications and thank you so much for being here. I appreciate you all so much. I'll see you on the next one, guys. I hope you've had a cracking summer holidays. By the time this comes out, we'll be nearly at the end of it. Um... Like I've said, I've been backing up videos throughout, the, well, all the time to make sure that I've got enough to cover the holidays without um, sacrificing time with my kids, basically. So that's why they're coming out later. But I hope you're enjoying the content. And, and as always, if there's anything you'd like me to cover, pop a comment down below and I will definitely consider doing it. Love you lots. Ta-ta.